Welcome. Welcome, welcome. No role play tonight as this is I'm coming back to the gate. Um right, let's just see what we can do. It's all night and I've got to do this. I bet was on. How are we doing anyway, chat? We good? What's this? This far. <sighs> Come on, and we start. Oh, thank you for the love, bro. Coming on? Chat is doing fine. Send you a melon. Look like 1996 Eminem. My glasses on, yeah? Damascus here. Oh, we get we get some free shit, here, bro. Some free shit. Where's me free shit? I said free. Free. What the what the fuck is that? Oh, you're gymming with Tank, eh? Is that what we're going to call him now? Tank. Sounds good to me. Look at that shit. What the fuck is that shit? I've equipped that sticker on one of my guns. Which I'm gonna be so shit at this now. Yeah, five M's down at the moment, mate. I'd have been playing that tonight. I got my interview tonight for police. Five M decided to take a shit though. You have to join the uh, Discord server for Sandbox RP. Right. Let's get this show on the road. Where's my guy? Oh, mate. I'll give it another go in a bit though. A couple of games of this first and then I'll try it again. Yeah, I will do. We'll send you the link, man. It's good, it's only like a two week old server.
they're now trying to get a fucking interview though for the police, you know, because all the high commands at the stations, they all live in America. So they're like playing the game at midnight and I'm like in bed. So I managed to sort out with one of them. I'm gonna come on early to do my interview. I guess, and but, Kid's been playing with my controller again. There we go. Close the shoot. Fuck. Not what you need. Start things off. Where I'm gonna land. So the boxes, man. Let's do it. Let's do it for the king, eh? Dropping into the AO. 
fucking gunny shot's got enough. Like a fucking stealth ass fucking ninja. Snap water boy in it. <laughs> Love the water. I'm off. We're detecting vulnerability in the enemy's network. Locate their uplink stations and secure their intel before they go offline. Behind you, bitch. Ha 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 ha! Oh, some in Bangladesh, nice to meet you, dude. Thanks for jo dropping in here. Ashan, Ashan, that's the one. I hope I got your name right. Oh, Asan, Asan, is it? Straight for the water again. Enemy UAV active. Laters. Fucking dumb. Hostile UAV in the area. Hi, EWSWDWD. Fantastic name, Matt. The enemy locked us out of their network. You missed your chance. This is Call of Duty, yeah. I've been playing a bit of role play at the moment, but, um,. Uh, the servers are down at the moment.
I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. This is my first game on. I've not played this for over a week. I wasn't expecting to even get a kill. I was expecting to die straight away. What about that moment now? Hostiles dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Yeah, that's that would be brilliant, mate, if you could. Awesome. Fuck. Thanks for the follow as well. Hassan. Appreciate that, brother. Fucking nerd him a bit later. Then. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see what the crack is. That's something. I'm not sure I'd go up there. Oh, I sound you're amazing, man. Appreciate you, brother. You shouldn't have gone up there, that guy. Only five remain. Finish the job. This guy. Real. He's got good. He had good position, but circle's moving. Got a gas mask, so it should be all right. Gas is moving. Stay up there till the last moment. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, mate. He's dead. You ought to see where that comes from. Get shot. Gas mask, mate. Use it. You got gas moving in. Use the gas mask. There's only him and one more. So they go around the back.
Down with there, look around, check the surroundings, bro. Why is he not checking his surroundings? Double that, you've seen him now. Damn you, prick. Stop, I don't even get this guy. Could see him a minute ago, he should have just gone for the kill. Be up there now in that building. Oh, yes, yeah, get him! Shoot him! He's right there! Got any grenades? Push him! He's plating up! Why you're not pushing him, mate? He's fucking plating up. He's under the table. Shoot him. You fucking kidding me. What? How, d how did he not get the win? Yeah, I got shot me, bro. That, that other guy did shit then. Absolute shit. Insurgents again. It's quiet on air tonight. Very quiet. I, I live stream regularly. So I do it on my days off. Uh, in my job, I work uh, shift patterns of four on. So I work four days on and then I have four days off. So for them four days, I stream. Um, and I do the odd occasional stream. Occasionally you get five streams out of me, but I'm always posting content and shit on my Facebook, on Twitter as well. What are them customs? I've got all these customs up now. Yeah, man, you should. I'm a variety streamer as well, so I don't just play this game. Like I said, I was supposed to be playing uh, Grand Theft Auto roleplay tonight, but the server's down at the moment, so I'm trying to. I'm gonna just play this game and then check if the server's back up. If it is, I'll switch to that. Do a bit of fishing or something. I don't know. Ship that could be a bit sweaty though, couldn't it? It's, uh... Done it. I certainly am from the United Kingdom.
All the way where it's sometimes warm, but not a lot. I was hoping I get some cash from there. Trust me, if I could do this as a full time job, I would. But I don't earn any money from it. Let's so. go. Hi, Uncle. Oh, he lives here now. Guy on that hill, I just seen him. Birmingham, ah, enemy UAV overhead. I live further down south in Birmingham. Gas is inbound. Gas won't come in yet, not gonna lie. Dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Ooh, that was close. Loadout's just out there, though. Back in the water we go. Shit, I'm stuck. Open pipe. Yeah. 
objective. Counter UAVs up there, boy. Solid copy. Counter UAV running signals interference. UAV is active. Enemy UAV overhead. Counter UAV is bingo fuel. RTB at this time. UAV in the area. Enemy resecured their new <coughs> only got one kill this game. Those packages now. I never knew that. Get ready. Resurgence window is about to close. I'll wait for that gas to come in. I need a bit of gas. Got ghost, so I shouldn't pop up on any UAVs. Fire sales over. Adjusting prices. Soldier incoming. Be advised, resurgence is no longer active. This is for keeps. Hostile counter UAV overhead. Yeah, then.
Fucking hell, he shit me up. Only five remained. You were close to victory. Uh, not even looking, I'm expecting him. I can press no second. It's over. This is working, yeah. There's people in there. Oh, we're on it. We're on it, chat. Right, bit of role play. City. I don't live in this city, mate. I I did originally. I'm from uh, from Manchester originally. But I now live in Wiltshire, so there's not really I don't really live in the city. Oh, 
don't know if you've ever seen this role play. Basically, you've got to be in character. He's going to fall like he does, and it's a push to, push to talk. So, in the settings, but I don't use push to talk, I use the little switch on my headset, which is there. Because I play most of the time with the controller. I'm going to fall out of the door now, see? I told you. It's like it's raining. To one not coming up, there it is. Lagging a bit there. Yeah, I'm doing a job. I got work, mate. Hello, study. I'm I'm old old man, me. Weather's a bit shit here. I'm 41, me bro. <laughs> 41 years young, as they say. So yeah, when I've, uh, when there's other people about, but just need to turn the volume up for the game, so you guys can hear it. So there will be uh, other people playing the game. It's GTA Online, but it's role play mode. So I have to be my character, talk from his perspective. Got an interview. Well, I should have an interview now to join the police. See how it goes. I don't travel, mate, really. Now I've got fiance and four lovely kids, so traveling's a bit hard. We're not rich, you know what I mean? I'd love to travel, though, I would. What I should have done really is got myself a better education and travelled when I was younger. But I didn't. It's a bit of a dickhead. It is what it is.
Nope, oh, get him having next year. Please stay here. Four boys. Anybody here? Yeah, man, I have my kids stream from time to time. Sit in my car and wait. See if this copper turns up. Christmas time. Christmas? <laughs> hey, Christmas, yeah. <laughs> Some fucking work on it. Perhaps. Just for fun. <laughs> That's all right. I love Christmas. I don't, don't think you're some, uh, Asan, mate, Asan, I don't think, I forgot what I was going to say. You don't celebrate Christmas, though, right? So, chat, if you're just joining in on Kick now, if you're just watching over on Kick, um, I'm waiting for an interview. Which is why I'm sat in my car doing anything.
I visited any country? I have actually, yeah. I've, uh, um, only in Europe, though. I've never been out of Europe. So I've been to like Spain and uh, Portugal, Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Rio de Ventura. Visit India and Nepal. Two countries I know of. Yeah, my eldest son is sixteen and he's going to Nepal with school. He's, I should imagine he'll go travelling a lot. Been to uh, Morocco recently. Loved it. Climbing up the mountain on some time. I'm here for an interview. Uh, an interview, okay. Um, I I got a notification that you sent the three one one, but there weren't any like subject, there weren't any uh, message to go with it. Um, are you interviewing for LSPD? Uh, yeah. Right, perfect. Uh, yeah, come in, take a seat a minute. I've just got to go and uh, prep uh, me office to make sure I tidy up all my crap, and then uh, we can get going. Um, what did you say your name was there? Uh, Leo Phoenix it is. Leo Phoenix. All right, I'll, uh, I'll pull up your appy as well. Um, do you mind if I uh, just give you a quick uh, search to make sure you don't have anything on your person that will hurt me or hurt yourself before I let you back in the, the office? Is Absolutely. All right, one, one moment here. Just give you a quick pat down. I'm just going to confiscate the knife for the time being and then you can have it back afterwards. Yeah, that's fine. That's just my fishing knife. Yeah, no worries. And uh, we are Leo Phoenix. All right, Leo. Uh, yeah, sit tight for me a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll get we'll get to it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I am here for an interview. With the officer, can you not hear him? 
not loud enough. Oh my God, I can help you on anything. Uh, yeah, I'm being seen to, thank you. I'm just here for an interview. All right. All right. Did you hear him then? How can you just hear me? Really loud. Dispatch one of the two's going 10 6 uh, for like 20 mics for an interview. Um, and I'm also off the radio, so if you need anything, I'll be in my office at MRPD. Thanks. All right, Leo, you can uh, follow me if you like. Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. It makes me feel old. Uh, my name's uh, Sam Rascal, the uh, assistant chief of LSPD. Ah, uh, okay. Nice to meet you, sir. So, a chief. Yeah, likewise. Um, Chief Fox won't be around uh, for a bit, um, uh, but we've uh, kind of tag teamed interviews. So uh, sometimes I do them, sometimes she does them, and then sometimes one of the captains, Peters, does them. But uh, you've got me, unfortunately, for today. I feel free to take a seat on the couch if you like. Oh, okay. Make yourself comfortable. I will. You prefer one of these uh, these chairs too? We can do that over here. I'm just uh, I'm going to stand. I've been sitting all day. <clears throat> Perfect. There we go. All right, <laughs> Leo. So it says that you've uh, moved over here from the UK. That is correct. Whereabouts in the UK are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Wiltshire. Oh, nice. Uh, I was born in Plymouth. Oh, Wiltshire. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my. Uh, my dad was in the uh, the Royal Marines uh, down there, and uh, when he got out, he went back to, to university to become a uh, an art teacher, and we lived uh, just north of Milton Keynes. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Small world. <laughs> quite, yeah, quite. Um, so it also says that you've got some uh, experience with the NHS. Tell me about that. Yeah, I uh, work for the emergency services, uh, ambulance driver. Okay. okay. Uh, did you like it? Or, like, tell me more about I, it. I did like it. It just wasn't as busy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, and I'm a guy that likes to, you know, be on the feet a lot. Getting involved. Do you think that you, yeah, did you, would you say that you like thrive in um, kind of high pressure environments? Yeah, absolutely. So you're kind of like a diamond in the rough then, yeah. eh? Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, it also says that you've had no PD experience thus far. No, I haven't had any. Okay. Um, so tell me what um, what's uh, kind of driving you to be here? What's inspired you to uh, to apply? Well, uh, I'm 100% a law-abiding citizen. Um, and really, because none of us. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. You shouldn't be saying that. <laughs> I could be your captain one day. No, I'm only joking. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I just like to be in the thick of things. Putting criminals away is something I've always wanted to do from being a child. And I've seen that this opportunity has risen for me. So I thought I'd apply. Okay, um, so let's ask a, a couple of different questions. To be a um, human. What do you think it takes to be a good police officer? Um, you've got to be confident. I'd say you have to be, it's, 
essentially you're confident. Um, yeah. If you can keep the peace in any situation, because you don't really want to escalate things. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, tactical. Okay. Smart, witty. Love a bit of wit. Wit. Yeah, wit is good. Um, while we're on the the subject of quick wittedness, do you think that there is a place for fun uh, here at the LSPD? Uh, amongst colleagues, yeah. Don't see why not. I've, I've, okay. I've, when do you think it wouldn't apply? Um, being on duty, you have to stay professional if you're on duty. But I've, mm. I think with with your colleagues, if you're not on duty, I think yeah, you should have fun. Okay. All right. Uh, what kind of TV do you watch? What do you like to watch? Oh, I watch all sorts, ranging from anything superhero to true crime documentaries. Okay, what, what, have you ever seen that show, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Uh, I've only seen it briefly. Okay, of what you've seen, what do you think of that kind of precinct vibe? Yeah, I like it. Kind of the tomfoolery. Yeah, All right, yeah I like sweet. it. So the reason why I bring that up is, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of distinction between um, this department, LSPD, and uh, BCSO, and uh, San Andreas State Troopers. Yeah. In that um, we're just trying to create an environment and a team that is um, is fun uh, and it likes to um, horse about until it's absolutely necessary not to, you know. So if people are arriving uh, on the scene very professionally, you know, I wouldn't put it past another speedy officer to, uh, you know, power slide onto the scene and like get out of their car and start working. Yeah. You know, that's the kind of Thing that we want to create yeah okay i understand that um because whether we like it or not the um leos are um the face of uh, a state where you live yeah and if there's a, a good um you know a bunch of guys and gals um running the force and there are good cops out there you'll get good people and want to you know they want to live here but if you get you know shitty cops and shitty attitudes Absolutely. um People are not going to stay here for very long. Absolutely. So, you know, um, what we want to do is uh, make sure we've got the right people out there. Um, and that doesn't mean, um, you know, the most tenured people with the most amount of experience. That just means we're looking for the right character in you to be out there. Yeah. Um, so, which brings me to um, my next series of questions. Okay. So let's say you were involved in a hostage situation. Um, you, you're responding to a fleek of bank robbery. It's you and a bunch of your colleagues. You're at first and you're the main negotiator. So you, you're communicating with, uh, you know, a couple of brazen individuals. Um, but your main operative is to get the hostage out safe and unharmed. The combatants inside ask you that in, uh, or demand of you, let's say, that in order for you to have the hostage out safe um, and unharmed, you have to bleach your asshole. Are you willing to do that? Oh, absolutely. 100%. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> All right. What are you doing <laughs> on the weekend? So I'm okay. Perfect. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, that's good to know. Um, what? Oh, don't, don't uh, tell anyone though. Let them find out, oh, let them uh, find out for themselves. <laughs> yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. It's not that I'm uh, recording this on a podcast. <laughs> um, who do you think the best Spice Girl was? Baby Spice. Baby Spice. <laughs> Interesting answer. Okay. Why Baby oh, she's Spice? She's cute. <laughs> okay. So why Baby Spice over Posh Spice? Because I'm not posh. <laughs> also, Posh Spice didn't ever sing. She was just there to look pretty. Yeah, well, that's it. She didn't yeah. sing. She can't sing. How she tried. She happened. tried a solo. Uh, career. She tried a solo career, and look where that got her. Nowhere. <laughs> Married to Beckham. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. A uh, couple more questions. Um. <clears throat> so, we're really looking for team players. 
um, out there. Yeah. Um, and it's not only the LSPD you have to work closely with. It's again, B BCSO and, um, and SAS. Yeah. Um, now there is a lot of inter branch, um, communication and a lot of it is, uh, just trash talking. Each yeah. other. Like, you know, we're the best. No, we're the best. No, we're the best. Um, do you think that you'll be able to kind of put up with that? Oh yeah. hundred percent. I give as good as I get. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Um, the thing is, is that, or, you know, although that we like to kind of give each other shit and, uh, you know, it does prepare us for out there on the yeah. streets because, you know, you're going to get come across some nasty individuals who are going to say something to you and mean it, whereas, you know, I don't. Yeah. Um, so it's important to know that, uh, you know, there is a bit of um, inter kind of community um, grief that we like to give each other, but it's all in fun. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, while we're on the topic, um, you're going to have to make a fool of yourself, you know, uh, in front of your colleagues, um, in front of others. So I'm going to ask you to do it for me. Um, I need you to think about a situation yeah. where if someone had a gun to your head and asked you to sing a song to the best of your ability, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, or they were going to put a round in your, in your temple, um, I need you to sing that song. The only stipulation I have as the person with the proverbial gun to your head is that it can't be a nursery rhyme or anything like baby shark because I've heard that too many times. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you want me to break the ice for you, I'm more than happy to sing for you, but, uh, yeah, I'll give you a couple of minutes here to think of a song and, uh, just hit me with it when you're ready. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends, make it last forever. Friendship never ends. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Stick a cigar. Is that all right? Yo, oh, you, you oh, jam into sorry, it. Just getting jam into, into it. it. Oh. oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> okay, a um, couple more questions. Uh, what's your availability like? Um, my availability is usually when nobody... So not this shift. Usually. It's late shift. It's late. Right? Yeah, late shift. What? When everybody on Eastern is in bed. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> we do things what, uh, called academies. I'm sure that you saw in the email. Yes, I did. Do you think that you're going to be able to make that work or no? Uh, when is that again? Uh, let, me, let me have a look at the emails. One second. Sunday, May 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so what uh, what um, time frame are you on? Um, I'm, so I'm five hours in front. So five hours ahead yeah. of two. So what are two, three, four, five, six, seven in the evening on Sunday. Do you think that you can make that work? No, I could make a bit later work on that mm, Sunday, okay. but not seven. So the only thing is, is that um, we do require probationary officers to attend at least one academy before we send them off on solo cleared rides. Yeah, I understand that. Now, um, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, I've seen situations before, which I would like to avoid at all costs, where good, strong probationary officers are brought on um, but they're never around for academy, so they never get past yeah. that. So um, there is, a, a, I think, a few others that are on that time uh, frame. I think Officer Snow will be around, um, so you can uh, you can buddy up with him uh, for the time yeah. being. Um, we can always uh, make uh, maybe we can make um, some special plans for later in the evening on that Sunday because I'll be around. Yeah. Okay. And maybe I can just. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll try me. Yeah, I'll try me like... damn hardest to be there. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um, it's uh, you know, maybe we can do like a one-on-one -on -one thing. I have to talk to Fox. Yeah. Um, because you're not the only one in this situation, yeah. so. Um, I'd rather get you pushed through an academy and get you on your feet rather than you know waiting around and then you lose steam and lose drive because you know. Uh, yeah, you're waiting for an academy. Yeah. Okay, we cleared everything. Okay, last question. 
<laughs> I need, I'm going to give you a term, and I need you to define it to the best of your ability. I already know what the term is. Right. So depending on how close you get to the actual definition decides the fate of your career. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> um, I can use it in a sentence after if you'd like uh, to help you. Okay. I would like you to define the phrase duck butter. Duck butter. Yeah, D-U-C-K-B-U-T-T-E-R. Duck butter. I need you to define it for me. And, and use your experience in this interview with the person that's interviewing you as the likelihood of the, you know, the, uh, the gist of what I'm, what I'm asking. I'm not too sure, to be honest. It just sounds like you want to throw butter at me. And I've got, yeah. and I've got a duck. <laughs> um, can, you, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That might, <clears throat> might give me a bit more of a clue. Last night, she let me taste her duck butter. I love juices. So you went down on her, um, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you got your tongue all there and everything. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god, you even get it so <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, close enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the rest uh, for you to do some... Uh, um, Investigating. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so what I'd like to do is um, I need to email Chief Fox um, real quick. Yep. Um, so if uh, if I can get you to just uh, step out into the precinct there, you don't have to leave the office, um, but if you could uh, take a seat in one of these chairs that are lining, um, you can sit in this one, you can sit in that one over there, whichever right, one. Yes. I'll come get you in a sec. Okay. How about that? Interview. I think that interview went well. Considering. Just waiting now. Yeah, just waiting. All right, lads. Um, yeah, I'm uh, happy to offer you the position of uh, probationary officer. Um, if you'd like to accept, yeah, I think Absolutely. it's a great interview. Absolutely. I think you've definitely got um, the character and um, the, uh, I guess, um, verbal persuasion that we need, you know, someone who's comfortable in themselves. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of um, officers who are very green at the gills uh, on the force right now, whose biggest problem is uh, trying to get them out of their shell. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to have that problem with no, you. No, not at all. Um, I'm already out of it, like a turtle. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, they're in the shell, aren't they? <laughs> they are, yeah. 
Um, so I'd like to, uh, yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, are you going to be around for uh, at least the next half an hour? Yep. Perfect. We can do it all right away. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so one sec, let me get you hired on and I'll give you a call sign and like good stuff and we can get you uh, clocked on and, um, in gear. Brilliant. Oh, we did it. We did it, chat. We are now a probation officer. Oh, a police officer on probation. Um, your birthday's what, January 27th? Nineteen ninety. Yeah. Okay. Your favorite number is what? One hundred two. One hundred two. Yeah, I love one hundred two. Perfect. That's your number, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let me hide on there, and let's go over here. Right, your call sign for the time being is going to be 907. 907. You won't have to remember it. I'm going to show you something in a quick sec that will remind you all the time. Okay. All right, lads. Um, I'm just going to uh, throw this back in your pocket here. Have you got a, a weapons license already, Leo? Um, yeah, I have a gun license. You already have one. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's go and get you clocked on, and then uh, we can go through the rest of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. If you want a third eye, that. Um book on the uh, the edge there, the one with the pen on it, and uh, clock in for me. Which one, sorry? Oh, the book. Yeah, the book with the pen on it. If you third eye it, and should be the clock in. Yep, clocked in. All right, so at this point, if you can flex your F1 muscle, and then yeah. hit police utilities, and then hit toggle body cam for me. Yeah. And that's smart. Yeah. It's also localized time too, which is pretty sweet. It is. Um, so although this is um, quote unquote on, we're not storing um, the video anywhere. If, if you choose to do that, which I highly suggest that you do, um, you have to arrange that either locally or otherwise. Okay. You know, if you've got glasses on, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's keep going. Okay, so you've already seen the vast majority of the precinct. We'll give you a quick walk around. Um, in here in the archives is actually the place where um, the lady works who deals with our acquisitions. Oh, right, okay. Um, so the things like our fleet of cars are actually paid with, with money. Yeah. Um, so we've got a budget. We make money by handing out fines and all that good stuff. Um, so as soon as you're, um, like squared away, I can purchase a vehicle for you. Yeah. Now, as of right now, it doesn't quote unquote belong to you, yeah. but if you keep track of the license plate, um, and use it over and over again, it just becomes yours. And when you pull it out, have your call sign on it and all that good stuff. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, eventually it will be, um, in like a month and a bit's time, maybe. Um, it'll there'll be cars assigned to you, so when you go pull it out, those would be the only ones that you can. Yeah. Understood. Um, so while we're on that subject, um, if you take your car out, you are um, expected to fill it with gas and also take care of it in repairs. Yeah. We do have a, a repair shop underground here, but it only takes care of like the visual side of things. If you need to get your internals worked on, you need to take it to a mechanic. Yeah. Most places will do it for cheap for uh, offices. All right, and then um, in the lockers here, on the right hand side, if you third eye these lockers, you have access to a personal locker, which you can store things in when you're not on shift. 
Um, if you, you know, you're ending your shift early and you want to go out, yeah. you know, throw your weapon or yeah. good stuff in there. And on this side, um, we can remote access to the clothing store with some special uh, PD equipment and access to a wardrobe. So if you'd like to uh, get yourself situated in the clothing store, I can go through some um, uni uniform stuff with you. Oh, yeah. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, one moment, I've just got to find it. Okay, so you need um, shirt four four three texture zero. Perfect, that's the one you need. Um, you need undershirt one nine seven texture zero. Sweet. Um, if you can find your way to bags, you need bag 112, and I think texture zero is the appropriate one. Where's bag? I can't see bag. Can't see bag. Uh, it might be an accessories or miss. Yeah, what number was that, sorry? 112. All right, that says uh, PR officer. Perfect, that's the one you need. All right, moving on. Uh, we need to go and navigate back to pants and do pants 152, texture zero. Excellent. Uh, shoes 25, Texas Zero. Although, if you prefer to wear the ones you've got, you can uh, wear those. Perfect. Um, and then we need hat 46, Texas Zero. Oh, we might need to actually. Oh, perfect. Never mind. Um, and uh, the cherry on top is Vest 10, Texture 1. Hell yeah. All right. Yep. Um, also, if you don't mind finding a shirt that hasn't got holes in it, um, so you might have to change your arms to something else. No, I still see a giant hole in your right sleeve. Oh, okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind flexing your arm muscle for Roger. Hello? Hello. Uh, can you flex your arm muscle for me, please? I'm trying. It just won't do anything? No. What about your Q muscle? Are you still in the wardrobe? There we go. Oh, there we go. Thank God. All right. Perfect. That looks good to me. All right. So if you want to purchase that uh, uniform and then store um, a copy of your uniform in the wardrobe, just so that you can easily, you know, get in and out of it when you need to. Yeah. All right, and let me know when you finish that.
I've done that. I've done that. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, let's move on. Okay, so a big thing uh, we've got to make sure of is um, external doors especially. We need to make sure we lock them. Yep. Um, these locks are a bit finicky, but you'll get used to it. Okay, so let's uh, take a stroll this way. Uh, so we've got a break room in here to the right. Um, you can grab coffee and snacks in here. Um, these will work. Um, however, the donuts in this candy box vending machine seem to be laced with some... Uh, extracurricular activities, so oh, just right. be careful with your donuts <laughs> while you're driving. Okay. Um, um, but also, there is a knack to um, buying things. So if you third eye it, right click on it, and then use coffee machine, you'll see it's trying to sell you 15 coffees at once. 15, yeah. Which is, which is mad. If you um, left alt and then right click, you should be able to, to choose how many coffees you want. Uh, same with the vending machine, same with grocery stores, that kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, okay, otherwise, let's keep going. I'll go back this way. Uh, so we've got a press conference room over on the right. We just walked past it. Yep. Um, upstairs is the really only room uh, that we use up there. It's like a training room. Um, we'll probably use that in the academy or... Uh, for post-storm meetings we're going to be having. Okay. Um, these are department-specific rooms. We've got a briefing room in here. We've got the lab in here. Um, you'll learn um, eventually um, how to run diagnostics on um, uh, bullets and casings and shit that you find with one of the laptops in here, which is really quite neat, um, the science behind it. So uh, we can uh, come back here at a later date to do some more of that. That's just where it is. Okay, down here. <clears throat> On the left is the armory. We're going to go in there next. But if you ever need cash, don't have to go to a bank. There's an ATM just there. Oh, nice. All right, step into the armory. Okie dokie. So if you look with your nose into the armory and you flex your tab muscle. Yep. Does it bring up the armory? Yep. Perfect. So you'll notice that a lot of things in there are fancy and you might want to pick one up. Um, but some of the things that you can't because you have to have a certification to do so or it's rank locked. So for the time being, I need you to pull out a taser, a nine millimeter pistol, uh, PD handcuffs, encrypted radio, uh, a stack of PD body armor, one stack of PD pistol ammo, which will give you 10 boxes, and each box is 40 rounds. A stack of taser ammo, flashlight, binoculars, and a camera. But you don't have to carry those around, but they're handy. Beauty. All right, let me know when you've got everything that you need. You say a flashlight? Yeah, you actually 100% need one of those. It might seem ridiculous, but we actually use flashlights in the daytime all the time. Right, I've got all that, I think. All right, perfect. <clears throat> all right, we can keep moving. All right, so let's go into the shooting range here. I'm just gonna hop on the radio. Oh, why don't we both do that first, if you wanna come in here. So I needed them. All right, so if you want to um, bring up your radio. So these encrypted radios um, come extremely loud. So I'd have it like 40% uh, the most. Um, you want to turn it on on the right hand side um, and then in the frequency box you need to put uh, number one and then set channel 
and you'll be on radio. Yeah. Okay, one second. All right, dispatch. 102 plus one is uh, discharging firearms at the MRPD shooting range. Please uh, ignore. All right, now I'm going to turn mine off again because I don't need to hear it. And if you can, if you can um, load uh, 40 rounds into your pistol and then step into booth three, please. You might have to have your pistol in your hands to load. You're good. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you want to step into booth three for me. So we're gonna play a little game. Um, You'll see targets in front of you from left to right. They're numbered one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep. What I need you to do is aim down sights and stay down sights. I'm going to call out a number and then I say fire or I don't say anything. I just need to make sure that you're not firing when I don't say anything. Okay. okay. Pretty, pretty simple game. Okay. Yep. Um, so let's start with four. Three, fire. Just put a round in it. Perfect. Two, one, four, fire. Five, fire. Three, fire. Two, four, six, fire. Five, fire. Four, fire. Sweet. All right. Let's uh, let's do something else. Um, can you put in um, uh, target number four um, as many rounds as you have left in uh, loaded? Just light it up. Sweet. Pretty accurate aim. I like that. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. All right, if you want to uh, holster the pistol, we can move on. All right, dispatch one and two plus one finished at the shooting range. Thank you. No, thank you, sir. Let's go downstairs. Talk cars. Talk cars. Hmm. So who has the nicest car on the force? Me or Fox, probably. We both have uh, um, LSPD Porsches. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Camaros out there. There's Corvettes. The Camaros um, are a heat unit. Uh, there's Corvettes. There's Mustangs. Um, Chargers, Crown Vicks, and we've got quite a wide variety. Doors, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so if, like I said, for the time being, this is going to be how it's work, going to work. Um, you'll only have to get used to it for a little bit, and then uh, it'll change. Um, so if you walk over and put your foot into a parking space, like this, and then flex your F1 muscle, and then choose a little garage icon and then fleet vehicles. You'll be greeted with a list full of vehicles in no particular order. At least it seems that way. Um, so for you, um, I believe you are allowed to use a Crown Vic when you graduate out of uh, probationary officer. Okay. After that, you can use the Charger. After that, you can use Explorer Tahoe. Yeah. 
um, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, just um, take note, though, that we can track drivers on these cars. Yep. So I can see how long you took it for, where you took it, that good stuff. Okay. okay. Um, so this is going to be how it works. Now, typically, any LSPD uh, specific vehicle will be at the bottom of this list, it, it seems like. So if you're looking for your license plate with your Crown Vic or your Charger, start from the bottom. That's usually the best yeah. bet. Sweet. All right. So that's how that works, but we don't need you to have your own set of wheels just yet. So a couple of things to, um, to notice now. If you look at your um, dashboard and you see the little squiggle muscle next to your, uh, your first muscle, hit that and you should bring up the dispatch system. Let me know when you see that. It's just to the left of your one muscle. Little squiggle. Oh, yeah, got it. Perfect. Okay, so we can see a bunch of things. We can see all of our call signs of who's on duty, police. Yep. We can see two EMS and then Theo McPhee on tow duty. Yep. We can also see any previous calls that have been there, but only since you've been on duty. So if you come on and you have a look, you won't be able to see all the calls I can. Okay, got that. Um, so in order to get rid of that, you can just uh, flex your escape muscle and that should get rid yep. of that. So in here, you've got a dedicated button on your dashboard to open gates. It's the F10 muscle and it will work from here and you can just close it again. It also works with the bollards outside. All right, okay. Um, please don't forget to lock these. Sweet. Okay, that's about it for super, super basic stuff. Um, we can go out on patrol if you'd like. I can take you with me. If you've got to go now, you can do that, whatever you prefer. I'll come out on patrol with you. Sweet. All right. Let's do it. Can you uh, lock that door behind you? Locked. Perfect. Right, I've got to go and get my gear on. And, uh, we're gonna head All right. Yeah, if you want to chuck some stuff in there that you don't need, whatever you want. Um, but uh, I'll meet you out front of uh, MRPD when you're ready. Yep, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, one sec. Um, Phoenix, if you don't mind going to stand down by the uh, the uh, police cruiser down there, parked ne next to your car with a big 102 on it. Yep, no problem. I'll meet you there in a sec. Yeah, so I'm a uh, This is a seriously nice car. Look at that. Get up, please, catch up. My 
cadet. I'm a cadet chap. Not too bad, thank you. How are you? You were the one that was, uh... You were on duty last night, weren't you? Oh, this is, uh, I've only just done my interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have the same, uh, look as somebody else, I thought. I knew. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, you just look like somebody else that I thought I knew. I get knew. that a lot. My bad. Yeah, I think it's probably just the, the hat. Yeah, Black, are you uh, free right now? Are you, uh... Always. Yeah, okay. Um, are you okay if I send, um, Probation Officer Phoenix with you for a little bit? Half an hour, 45 uh, minutes at most? Because I've got to conduct yeah, an fine. interview. Yeah, I don't have anything going right now. We don't have contracts to work on with security or anything. Sweet, perfect. Um, so yeah, if, uh, Phoenix, you want to ride with, uh, Officer Black here for a little bit? No problem. Um, I've worked actually with Officer Black before, um, in a different state, another time, and uh, he's a good lad. So, uh, if uh, you want to ride with him and uh, have a chat and just get to know each other, and um, hopefully some things will happen that you can get in, uh, stuck in with. Yeah, sure. If not, um, I can take you uh, uh, back in like half an hour. I've just got to do another interview. Yeah, also, I hope you don't mind. I took a uh, 106 or a 906. Um, as a uh, ride along last night as well. It was for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I trust He you. got some experience. He got into a pursuit and uh, we handled a guy that robbed the store. Um, so, just so you're aware, Black, uh, Phoenix here has um, no prior PD experience. Got um, you. Okay, so you are leading um, entirely in this case. Yeah, I can do that. Right. Sweet. Perfect. All right, I'm going to leave with you. If you need anything, I'll be on the, uh, I won't actually be on radio, but I'll be in the office. If you need anything, okay. that's exactly where I'm going to be. Yeah, I'll send Sweet. all the, uh, paychecks from car accidents that way. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, good. I, I won't lie. I did get into an accident with a local yesterday, but we don't talk I mean, about it. I mean, it's, you just got to pay for your own, you know, bloody car. So as long as you don't scratch mine, I don't care. Yeah, I it mean, was I only care, but... 1500 so it wasn't the worst Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. No, you, you don't understand bucks. how bad it was. Was there anything left? Um, I mean, I still had one door. Why did we hire you, Black? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> right, get on. That'd be something to take to the chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. All right, Phoenix, you're then. <clears throat> All right, you ready to get into some patrols? Yeah, let's go. One six three plus one, we're gonna be ten eight. One eight two is gonna be ten six for twenty mics uh, conducting interviews. Uh, I won't be on radio if you need me. I'll be in my office. Okay. Where do you feel like going today? Anywhere you want. Where's best places to go? I'm quite new to town, so. Um, even. Well, below us here, we got uh, Autos, Autos, their mechanic shop, they do great work, great people. They might be felons, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Gotta make sure you dodge the potholes so you don't scratch up my wheels or mess up my fucking yeah. suspension. You don't want that. And there's a lot of potholes in this city. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry about that. Have a big. Okay. That was a very long headache. Wow. This is for 10 6 three mics. How's it going? Hold on, guys. How you doing? Doing Dang. good. You had any issues around here lately? I don't think so. Why? I was just wondering. I got my uh, somebody, cadet here. Uh, Okay, somebody rolling through here causing trouble? Cause, uh... Thought you were looking for somebody. Oh, uh, no, we're just riding around, seeing what's happening with everybody. Cool. Mm, waking up, punching that guy in the face. Yeah, yeah I did watch that face, happen last night. That was not very good. Give him a punch, cadet, you're new. Go get him. No, I'm not gonna do that. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I was gonna say, I don't guarantee you cadet safety at that point. He might fight back on that one. <laughs> What's up with you and punching this guy? Like, you had a fight last night, now you punched him again. Listen, it wasn't even around last night, so clearly it wasn't me. You'd understand. Fair enough. Who, I, who'd you That's fight last night, for. The hell, Who didn't I fight last night? Beatboxing everybody now? You think you're a champ or something? Well, I, I, I will take away the champ part and everything else. Oh, okay, so you're just boxing everybody. You're trying to be a contender and just getting your clock rock. Okay. Something like that. Take a day off and Dean's getting ballsy. Now he's fighting everybody. Yeah, uh, put him down once or twice. All right, good. At least somebody's still knocking him out. Yeah. What are you officers up to? What's your uh, name, just Nugat? riding around. Uh, Cadet Phoenix. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Next, next Phoenix. Uh, Rob, Dean, Randy. Randy. Is he Randy? Me, Randy. Randy Thumbs. Are you Randy with the ladies? When they don't annoy me enough to kick him out of the car <laughs> at 90 miles an hour, sure. I think that's a crime. I think it might be. So is my uh, usual driving habits, but I mean, alleged. no, that's not even alleged. That definitely ain't gonna happen. <laughs> All right, fuck it. You kicked him out of the car. Yeah. Why not? We I mean, got pulled over, over in the Speedo the other day doing like a buck 20. You're doing 120 in that? Yeah. Yeah. He caught me slowing down. Fair enough. To every one of you officers, that's going to be my primary infraction is traffic tickets because I don't give a damn about a stop sign. Hey, me too, bro. Or speed limits. I get, I get a few, uh, few uh, incidents a day. Like, I'll always pull over for you. Whether I stay pulled over or not is a whole different story. Depends on how you are. Well, you know. If it were me, I just wouldn't pull over. But that's just me. No, no, I'll pull over. But when they go, Randy, you need to step out of the van and put your hands behind your head, I go, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you want to put cuffs on me, you're going to have to work for it. it. Yeah, or or the, so they sit there and go, thumbs, get out of the car. And then there's three of us that step out because three of our last names are thumbs. Uh, I would be scared. If yeah, it scares the shit out of everybody and it's completely unintentional because I, I was driving the other day and the damn state trooper there, he goes, all right, Thumbs, get out of the car. And I went, oh, shit. And sure as shit, he pops out and Derry pops out and then I popped out. And it's like, God damn it, you two, he's talking to me. Get back in the car. Oh. Uh, more specific. Because that's Dean Thumbs. The other one is not awake right now. It's Derry Thumbs. I have Dean Thumbs number, I think. I believe so. Damn. You should probably block it now. Yeah, I got Dean's. You can, you can just label that as Damn It Dean. Which one's Dean? The one with the hat? Yeah, yeah that's Dean. That one. Which one runs the shop? Dean? That's what's for oh, right Dean. Dean's the one that thinks he runs the shop, which is why he keeps getting knocked the fuck out. That must be why I have his number then. Yeah, he, he keeps going. He keeps coming up and going. That's right. Get to work. Or, or that's right. Know your place. Something else. And you just gotta kick the shit out of him at that point. I mean, at that point, why is he working here? Because. Because he's family. Good help is hard to find. You don't qualify as good help though. I'm talking about you. 
That's why you're here. Good oh, mother fucker. Shut up. Ow. Okay, can we break it up here? Y'all can do this no. and there's not two police officers sitting It's okay, here. it's private property and this is authorized. I don't think that makes it legal again, but... Sure it does. We're consenting adults. Dean, my fist consented to punch your face. You accepted by running your mouth. That's a verbal contract. Agreed. See? There you go, officer. All right, fair enough. Not a domestic disturbance. Every time he opens his mouth, he knows it might lead to him getting hit, so it's a verbal contract. True. It's true. God. All right, Kadesh, always hurts you want to head out of here and always see hurts my damn hand. other sights to see sure, yeah. other than the Dean or the Thumbs family? I'm sure they've got plenty of work to do looking in their garbage. Uh, oh, for, by the way, uh, just to let you know there, Cadet. Oh, you, oh, yeah, he's talking about it being slow here? I mean, shit, hold on. How busy you boys been? Oh, no, they've definitely been busy. I mean, they did, I took yesterday off. They still made over 100K. Oh, and look, yeah, there's one of our loyal is. sheriff customers calling in. Uh, you know, because the law gets 25% off down here. Well, except for you now, cadet. Yeah, except for you now, buddy. <laughs> it's fine. He doesn't hey, have a car Now you get 25% yeah. extra. I don't have a car. He ain't going to get a car either. I'll get one. He might. Oh, and a motorcycle. Not it on the bike. Oh, so like guy early. All right, come on, let's head out of here. A rowdy bunch. That's the Thumbs family for you. We're working on getting a contract with them, uh, with my security company. So, uh, what do you do for fun around here? Uh, buy cars and get in a lot of debt. Yeah, that sounds like my kind of fun. Uh, how long have you been on duty? Um, just since today, so about... I don't know, a couple of hours? Alright, follow me. So this fine building here is um, going to be uh, where you get your paycheck. All right. So what you want to do is talk to this man right here and he'll give you your paycheck however long you were on duty for. Okay. Let me know how much you got so we can compare. Got 1,000. 560. Oh, so you've been on for a little over an hour. Not bad, not bad. If you just put in your hours, you'll make a lot of money here. Yeah, I intend to. Nice slide. You done did it. I did do it. I'm sorry. Well, that's a thousand dollars coming out of your paycheck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I did it to my own car the other day. Oh, your personal car? Yeah. I'm guessing it was that, uh... Does anyone happen to know if Chief Fox has uh, made it in yet? I haven't heard her go 10 8 yet. Are you hungry or thirsty at all? Um, yeah, I bet both. Bit of both. Well, this is where the this place comes in.
again. Hi, can I get the uh, combo two again? Yes. Yeah, what dessert would you like? Uh, let's do a muffin this time. Muffin? Which which muffin would you like? I got sugar, Chocolate. so I can make everything now. All right, cool. Which you want, Cadet? Uh, I'll have a combo one with a muffin as well. All right. Did you get that short shorts, man? Co combo one and a combo two? Yep. Both Hell with... Yeah. You got chocolate muffin? Yep. I can make them. All right. Let's see. Let me get this smoothie and then I'll get your muffin. All right, and that's two chocolate muffins. Yes, please. Uh, what, what you got a chocolate muffin, right, Cadet? Yes, please. Yes, please. All righty. Coming right up. All right. Go ahead and put that bill right here for it. All right. The bill's on the tray for you, and I'll throw the food in there. All righty. All right, there y'all go. Hope you enjoy. All right, yours is on that tray there. Could Just I? Look at the tray real hard, and it's got the order right there. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for coming through. You too. All right, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Get out. Where are you going? Got a little bit lost. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> You just gotta meet uh, another officer and then I gotta drop off this evidence. No problem. I accidentally took it with me. Uh, accidents happen. Well, never mind. He said that he's, uh,. His uh, plane tickets getting uh yeah. He said it'll just be in uh, uh, later, yeah. so I'll talk to him then. If I still have you. You been to Mount Zona before? No, I have not. Well, that's a good and a bad thing. Why is it a good thing? Because uh, that's the hospital, and you don't want to end up at the hospital. 141 is going to be 10 6 for about 5 minutes. 10 4.
I don't know. Like pole just fell. Negative none in this time. Oh, oh no. Did you just sneeze? Do you... Oh no. Okay. Do you want me to help I'm you sorry. up? He's gonna arrest me. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I don't. You just kind of tripped. Oh yeah. You, know, you, you kind of just bumped into me, and then. <laughs> officer, don't arrest me, please. I, I was trying to tell you. Did you not kidnap those way. children. I didn't do it. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, there he goes. He be driving. I think. Well, I mean, his check oh. was pretty good. I hope that I was think his car. Uh, I well, think I mean, that's what he's... Been stolen, but I'm not going to question yeah. it. Yeah, it's, not, it's not my job to do that. What the... This Did is my cadet it? here. Hello, cadet. Hello. He's new. What's your name? Leo Phoenix. Leo are you here Phoenix. for your yeah. Are you here for your physical exam? He actually does need a physical. I don't think that's on our record He's yet. Not on for today. <laughs> that comes with the prostate exam, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with oh, consent, this. yes. Okay. I look forward to that. Oh. Yeah, see, he's excited. I can't wait. Sometimes I use, sometimes I use my cane, so I'll be ready if I was you. Oh, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Oh, seems like you've done this a time or two, cadet. You mean had it done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just hope Grandpa's uh, fingers don't come out looking brown. Oh my! Uh, I use bleach. Yeah, that's what the gloves are on for. <laughs> <laughs> We're just so white, you know. <laughs> One fifty-four. I'm gonna be ten seven. Oh, oh, by the way, that patient that we had, he was allergic to everything. Everything. Yes. Yeah, so keep that in mind whenever he comes to. Him. Okay. No, no, no metal, no plastic, no sun, no copper, no aluminum, none of that. He sounds like a meth head. I could tell by his skin. He oh, has and, some sort of and no, allergy. no grass too. He can't touch grass. No grass. <laughs> no. I didn't, I didn't that use like some special. I had to use a special needle to give him shots because he couldn't use any plastic or metal. But it would have been bad. Mm, Y'all been busy? Uh, no, not since I've clocked on duty. Yeah, I've been trying to keep an eye out for that. Peeping Tom. Who? Peeping Tom. Who's that? The guy on Twitter who's. Profile name is I follow people. <laughs> Do you see? I, I look bet at the I can picture. Guess who it is. I'll be in my head for a minute. Okay. I look at the picture he took of me with my arms crossed. Well, that right there is when I spotted him. How do you take photos with this phone? I uh, you can't. Oh, okay. I was just. Kidding. You have to have a camera. Or... Yeah, but our camera goes to the evidence, so I can't use that. Oh. I mean, I have a faster way to do it. Have you uh, heard of the uh, the muscle flex you can do? The window shift S muscles? Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to That's do that last do night because I didn't have my camera on me. That's how I do it. Oh, no, not the state trooper. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Very nice, very nice. What you guys up to? Oh, 
Not much. Nothing much. Making Maybe. sure no criminals are at the hospital. Oh, okay. What the heck? What is that name? Oh my god. 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 69, 
Not yet. Uh, I don't know. If... I don't oh, even no. have a photo. Point six four. Show me ten seven. Nine mics. Everyone's going ten seven. Uh, that thirty eight is going to be code four. I'm back to me. All right. Well, let's go, cadet. Which one is the uh, bottom? That's in one. here. You just gotta 163 is on scene. Any idea what's going on? Negative, it's in the hospital. 10 for a mile. 144 route. 141, same track. Get away, you creep. <laughs> Don't make me. What? What's the matter there? You took a pick of me. 163, can we get another officer down here? You got a lot headed your way right now. Can y'all can y'all get separated, please? Hi. Ten nine. You've got a lot of us coming right now. Just that boat. Ten four. Oh my god! Right, my pride. Thank you for holding out. Hey, cadet, control this fella here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you take a photo of that man? Okay. I was just. Did, did he hit you? Um, he might have, um, no, no, he didn't. He didn't hit you. He sent him to be asleep. I said he did. Oh, but he's, he, I think he might have been asleep. I don't know. He was passing on you? Alright, so someone said that they hit each other or something, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't really a hit, it was more of like a love tap. What the hell is man? Oh. Take a photo of that man on the ground. That's now. Oh my god. It was in a public location. I have right. Shut up before I hit you. And that's a threat. Okay. Yeah, we, we're not gonna do that. Hold me back. We'll just haze you instead. Hey, I can guys, take all of you at once. Can we head back over there? Can we head back? We'll, we'll talk yeah, about cool. what's going on. Can we separate you guys real quick? Back over there. I'm gonna go stand with I have a condition, you motherfucker. Right, uh... Your condition. That's the doctor. I'm allergic to metal, to grass, to glass, to plastic, to the sun. Hey, hey, I can confirm I had to wear a back with yes. uh, to examine him. Okay. So why, why'd you come inside my room and start swinging, though, man? I don't, I don't like. If he I took a to pic of me exposing me to the world. Okay, okay. At least, at least step foot out of the hospital before you do it right in front of the EMS. It's not really smart. Uh, shall we? Up, shall we? Man? I, I have to report that to the police right away. Okay, I can't look at Shall we? Shall we? Things happen in the way. Well, uh, it's, you have to talk to the police obviously and see what they want to do with you, but I can't help you here. <laughs> it's not my fault, man. Okay. okay, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Please, man. Oh, Please, he's, man. He's, he's, did he just kiss you there? What yeah, he did just kiss me. Oh. Why are you sexually assaulting my cadet like that? No, it's like a French kiss, like French kiss on the cheek, like. No, you, you don't. You don't touch my cadet like that. No, thank you for oh, the. Uh, oh, you get to do that privately. My bad. Well, that's for me to know and you not to figure out. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just being friendly. So, did you assault that man outside? Um, I tripped. You tripped. You just told me yes. you hit him because he was taking photos of I you. Okay. I tripped. Okay. No, no, no. I tripped fist first into his okay. face. Take, take a second here, man. In the suit. Okay. Tell me what happened. You have one shot to tell me what happened. Any, any of the truth. Um, I walked in to, to see this good gentleman, okay. and I tripped fist first into that man's face. Okay. So, you just fell into him? Yes. Okay. I have bad knees. You have bad knees. Okay. You have an ID with you? Um, let me see. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can, you, can we see your ID? It's gonna be one Ricky Dupe. Yes. Somebody run him real quick, make sure we're good there. Okay, I can't. So, yeah, just run him real quick. Just, I mean, I don't think that would be crazy, but just make sure we just do it. Okay, so you didn't hit that man on purpose, is what you're saying? No, I did not hit him on purpose. Okay. Is there anything about a picture involved in that? No. Okay. He's, He's all clean. That is not what he told me. 
Yeah, All right, dispatch wanted to use back 10 after that yeah. interview. Any actives that need attention? I'm right, getting confused. That's all good. Just hang on here for a second. I'll be right back with you. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Can you go see you? Not at this time, Chief. Yeah. This is Chief. Good day. Do you want to press charges on this man sexually assaulting you? No, I think he's, uh, I think he's got enough problems. Thanks, Fair man. enough. I could hug you right now. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's just, go ahead and sit back down. Let's keep our hands to okay. ourselves. If any of you want a hug, just, just let me know. I like hugs. No. Not, not oh, right okay. now. Oh, not right now, so maybe afterwards I... I hug? Maybe. Depends oh, on if I'm in the mood. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, we walked past if that's okay. Thank you. And that man outside just wanted a prostate exam. Oh. What a prostate exam? Yeah, that's what they were doing, and apparently he was taking pictures while he was getting a prostate exam and then getting into fights. <laughs> Who's taking know. pictures? The guy outside. Yeah, he's been taking pictures, man. Yeah, he's a weird fellow. I know who he is. Guilty, sir. You on the floor? Yes. I'm gonna press charges unless if you say sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. I want to be. Sick. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Here we go. Hug it out, guys. It's gonna be all right. Not Just a don't big look deal. on Twitter, okay? It happens. That okay? That was a little closer than I expected, but oh, okay. Right. Just don't look. Don't look at your phone, okay? No, don't. Check oh, you said look at my phone? No, no, no. What's going on? No, no, it's okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a nice picture. picture. I'm in it mean, too. This is where we're back to he, you're, you're in a public area. He's allowed to take pictures of you. <sighs> That's okay. just what it, now, if you were back in like a hospital room, that's that's, that's private. private. He can't do that. But you're in the lobby. Like anybody can walk in here. Anybody can. I mean, we're, every single copy right now has a camera aimed at you. That's just it's what yeah, it is, see, man. Look, there's one, two, three. Come look at me. Okay. I mean, you, you're, you're more than welcome to leave. No, yeah, no, no one's no one's holding you here. You're you're free, you're free to leave. But as far as like assaulting somebody for taking a picture, you, you can't do that, man. Okay, am I good to go? Yeah, you, you're, you're free to leave. If you didn't want to press okay. charges, you're, you're good to go, man. You're, you're yes, good to get and remember, here. officers, I did not kidnap those children. Three, two, one. What? Six, six, so. Wait. What? 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 what did he say? Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's off his okay, trolley, so, he is. Oh, yeah. yeah, so who was actually here? Uh, me and Blueberry here. Okay, uh, if you guys wanted to do an incident report with uh, his ID, just saying that this happened. No, 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 you want to put charges on there. Just no, yeah, no report. charges. Saying that it's, it's, just saying that it happened. It's not going to have anything criminal on it. But that way, if we talk to him again and he assaults somebody else, we'll be able, then we'll press charges at that point. Why you letting he, him he, go? He kidnapped children. Well, we can't prove that. I mean, he can say That's whatever he wants. That's unproven. Thing. Yeah, oh, same thing. Okay. He can say whatever he wants. I'm going to okay. follow him then and see if he's got any children in a dungeon. Don't fucking something. follow him around. That's stalking. Don't you just follow him. Because that's the only thing that press charges on you. What? Because yeah, then you go to jail. You can't just follow people around. That's, that's stalking. Oh, so if I happen to randomly bump into him, I can do it. That's fine. Oh, what's your name, Cadet? That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, just, uh, name I, I, I Leo. You, you two guys do, the, do an incident Leo? report with yeah. that guy's name. I kind of got a question for you, Leo. Yeah, go on, shoot. There you go. Why are you just walking around with a taser and not a gun? Oh, yeah, the rookie doesn't have a gun. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay. So You're gonna need take, a gun there. Take yeah. him to get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a gun. Right. There you go. You have it, like, in your back pocket or something? You just, like, wedge it in your pants and be gangster? Yeah, it, you, don't have a, you don't have it on your belt or anything, man. You don't have a holster, bud. You could at least just have it on your vest. The, this vest I have on has got a little holster for it. Well, he can't wear that vest if you, uh, He's got a gun! He's got a gun. He does have a gun. Okay, he's just got a wedge in his belt somewhere. Yeah, you don't want yeah. a holster for that. You don't want to fucking shoot yeah, something. Yeah, it, it's a quicker draw if you keep it in your holster. Yeah, you just um, fucking bang. I just want to let you guys know these ones on my, my sides. The plastic. They just look cool. I mean, you can have a gun. I, mean, I don't got a license, though. I don't got the money for that. Oh. Well, you know it's what? like a hundred bucks, bro. Come on. No, it's that's cheaper than the gun. No, no, that shit definitely $2,000. I got... Is it? Yeah, for us, I got, for us, it's cheaper. Yeah. 
Uh, I got $55 and I so in my, my bank account. License before I had my interview, so <laughs> <laughs> I paid the $2,000. Yeah, yeah I got $55 in my bank account and like 100 in cash. You don't have a job? No. Get a no job, one wants to hire me, so I take photos of everyone. You know, well, you, uh, I know who's someone who's hiring. Who's hiring? The bean machine, machine place? Bean machine oh, they just told me if I go in there, they're gonna have, like, that. they threaten me on Twitter. Uh, that's oh. lovely. I mean, yeah. if you're taking random, it's a private business. So if you go in no, there and I take that. pictures, I mean, I tweeted also, you can, uh, I know the, the also, you get this labor app on your phone and you can do different jobs. Okay. They hire fucking anybody, man. Yeah, they said go oh, to the uh, the vanilla unicorn's hiring. Yeah, yeah the there you go. There you go. But it, oh, you could be a stripper. You could. Yeah, you could you strip down to your undies and just like throw uh, it around. I yeah, I wouldn't take photos of the view. Oh, no, 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 not 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 the strippers. I meant like. Up the building. Uh, Lieutenant, technically, he like to the a, outside of the building. He can okay. Okay. About a job there as a photographer. Yeah, there you go. Oh, like, as, as long as you get consent to take pictures, then you're cool. Yeah, you can That's get good. paid to yeah. take pictures at the VU. Oh, okay. you I'll, I'll go check you it out. You can do like advertisement for businesses and stuff. Yeah, see, yeah. That, look, post that, in the yellow uh, pages or something. See what's there on. you go. Oh, okay. You figure it out. You figure it out. See, now we're turning this random your, your activity here into you make some money. Yeah, I like people watching. People are interesting, and I like to get capture like live action photos, basically. Nice. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna All get right, that. You want to go to the station, get you a holster, and um, you can fill out this report. There we go. Paperwork. Ten day. I was so excited right, when I pulled up and I see the cadet. I was so happy. I was like, no paperwork for me. He's going to do all of it. You got it. <laughs> How do you think I felt? <laughs> That's the best thing about I feel bad for you, cadet man. I'll be all right. Latest time on one mountain zone is code four. One four four back tonight. My bad, I was checking something. That was interesting. Yeah, I mean, we were right there, so yeah. we were able to stop before anything bad happened. One sixty three to one oh two. Go for one or two. Are you at the uh, MRPD? I can be, yeah. I'll uh, I'll be there in two mics. There's a lot of bicycles here. Yes. All right, uh, you want to go ahead and start on the report, and then when uh, Assistant Chief Rascal's here, we can get him to help you and whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get you your holster, come on. Alright, here you go. You can go ahead and uh, pay the hundred bucks. I gave you a hundred so you should have enough. And then it'll be um, under accessories, I believe. It's two, five or six or two, six or seven, something like that. I would suggest uh, the one that I have. 
It's just the holster with the pistol in it. What number did you say it was? I think it's six. Uh, go one above. Wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. That had the gun in it. I couldn't tell if it had the pistol oh, yeah. in it or not. Yeah, yeah you should be good, good now. now. Uh, if you want to go ahead and save that outfit to your wardrobe, that way you got it whenever you clock on. Yep. Alright, you good? I'm good. Alright, let's go. Uh, one to the black direct, I'm outside the MRPD. 10 4, we're coming out now. So while we were gone, we went and patrolled some of the businesses around here, stopped by the hospital, and while we were there, we actually got a 911 call. Yeah, I heard. What happened? Um, so there was a weird guy taking pictures of people, and another guy punched them, uh, but they didn't press charges or anything. What do you mean there's a weird guy taking pictures? Uh, so there's this guy called Greg Newman. He goes around and takes pictures of people as like photography or whatever. He says it's photography. But um, it, it was a public area, so it's not uh, illegal. All of his pictures are legal and everything. It's just weird. Yeah, a little bit strange place to be taking pictures at hospital. But... Yeah, definitely. That's probably why he got punched. Okay, so he got photos taken of him, and then the guy who got punched didn't press charges. Yeah, he didn't press charges. We just need to fill out the report for it, and that'll be uh, that case over with. And um, who is uh, who was the primary officer responding? We were. We were at the hospital when it happened. Is there a report? Not yet. Okay, perfect. Yeah, being the key object, right? Um, yeah, if you want to write that um, up, uh, that'd be great. I'd love to have a look at it. Um, otherwise, how's it going? Good? Yeah. Uh, going okay. good. He made some new friends. Oh, yeah. I uh, was distracted and drove right through an intersection and got T-boned by, uh, by someone. And he was quite unimpressed with my driving. I That's don't blame him. What? Ah, oi! Hey, what? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was uh, just distracted by all of the other things that I've got to do. Answering emails and uh, looking at the MDT while I'm driving. Yeah, you know. You, know, but, uh, God, you can't let the, the cadets distract you, even though he is a very beautiful man. Thank you. Oh, do I see a, a wonderful uh, romance blossom? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I do have a flight to catch in about five minutes. Yeah, perfect. All right, we can go ahead and start on the report, and then if you have to leave midway, I can take over. No problem. And we can cool. get it done that way. Perfect, yeah. I'd love to see it. Black, let me know when the report's done. Otherwise, it was nice uh, to meet you. Good job on uh, the interview today. Very impressed. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. It is. Um, like I said, uh, if you can't make the... Um, the academy on Sunday. Don't worry about it. Try best to get in after, and then in the evening, if I'm around, um, I can see what I can do about giving you all of the information and kind of doing a one-on-one -on -one situation yeah. um, to get you up to speed. Because uh, the faster we can get you in your own patrol car, the better. Yep. No problem. Cool. All right. Also, also I have I one, one question for you, Mr. Rascal. Yes. Why'd, Why'd you, you send, send this man off without a holster for his pistol? Yeah, we just went and got one. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, dang. Good eye. Yeah.
if we had an emergency situation, he probably couldn't have gotten his fist on time. Yeah, have to whip it out of his pocket. Yeah, it was definitely in my pocket. He had it. He had it tucked in his uh his his belt. Yeah, I'm glad your issued pants are big enough for this. All right. Uh, well, otherwise, I'm gonna get back out there. I've got some stuff to do, but uh, yeah, great. Work. All right. Um, just radio me black when uh, the report's done over the radio. All right, I got you. Sweet, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go sit in the car. That way, we're not on the cold. Yep. Alrighty, so I can go ahead and start it that way. When you leave, I'll have uh, access to it. Yeah. Um, hold on. I don't actually know if I can uh, access reports that have already been started. I can't, actually can't even look at reports for some reason. That's a bit strange. Oh, there we go. Got it? Uh, yeah, so... Well, hold on. Okay, yeah, I can edit reports, so you can go ahead and start it. Uh, do you know where to find the reports at? Nope. All right, so open your MDT. You can do slash MDT or your um, F1 on your tablet there. Yeah, not now. Create All right. report. And then it should say, yeah, create report. This will be an incident report. Yep. All right, so... Um, I'm not gonna look at it. So I, it's hard for me you to process it. Up up your, uh, real quick. All right. So you got an incident report. You need to add a suspect. So for this, there would be uh, two of them, since it was a civil report. All right. So you would add Dan Newman, or sorry, Greg Newman. Sorry, Greg Newman. And you don't have to add any charges since uh, there was no charges pressed against either uh, person. Yep, so Greg Newman, and then it was, uh, I got it in my search bar. Ricky Dewberry. You could just do Dewberry and it'll pop up. Common spelling. Uh, 102 is going uh, 10 6 for two mics. 10 4. Sorry, you got both of them? Suspect. I think I have. I have to add each Sorry. individual one. Yeah, yes, yeah. so you would add. Uh, Greg, and then add Ricky. What's add charges? Uh, you don't need to add charges, I don't think. I was saying I do. Hold on. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've never done I got a something. Car, hotter, red, speed, hit it, southbound, Los Lagunas. I've never done one that didn't have a charge, so I don't know how to. Yeah. Something to catch up at this time. Okay. Well, we can we submit it without a suspect? I'm guessing we can't. I don't know. Okay, for Dan Newman. 
or sorry, Greg Newman. You can throw on um, you can throw on a charge, but we can write in and say that uh, no charges were pressed. I sorry, sorry. It was Ricky. Uh, Ricky Dewberry. He would have assault uh, or battery. It would be battery. What for Greg Newman though? Or do I just do Ricky? Uh, it would just be for Ricky because Greg didn't do anything wrong. He was just um, he he was the victim. And let me know once you've gotten that. That just assault. Uh, if there's not battery, then yeah, just assault, assault. and battery. Yeah. There we go. All right, you get that? Yep. All right, so for primary officers, you would put, uh, it, it should already have you yep. written yep. down. And then put me, 163. Write down 163 and it should pop up. No options, it said. Just do black and it should pop up. Yep. All right. And then assisting officers. Um, I don't know. I don't do it's all on the team. It, it would probably be fine to just not write them down. It's not a big deal. Yep. Uh, because we were able to handle it anyways. Uh, then you would go on to your paragraph, or report notes, I mean. Yep. All right, so right in bold, you can do control B or it's at the little big B right there. No charges are pressed. Did you get that part? Yep. All right, and then you would do um, the date, and that would be 5-16-23. So put like date and then colon 5-16-23. All right, and then time, I would do whatever time it is for you. All right, location, do Mount, uh, Mount Zona, MT dot Z-O-N-A-H. Do you spell that last bit, sorry? Z-O-N-A-H. All right, you get that? Yeah. All right, and then for victim, uh, you could put victim and then colon, uh, Dan uh, Greg Newman. You got that? All right, and then you can write down a summary of what happened. So pretty much we were there just on our patrol, and then as we were there, we got a 911 call. 441 is the active 38 in the Bean Machine parking lot with a black four-door sedan. Um, uh, as we were there, we got a 911. As we were there, we got a 911 call, and... Um, you know, you and Mr. Black walked in. Uh, there was a person running away. We were told that there was uh, 
someone hit somebody, so we uh, detained each suspect. Or no, we separated the suspects. Um, and then we got a uh, report of what happened from each suspect. No charges were pressed. Something, something, something like that. that. Something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly that. One of back tonight. Two So our, uh, our buddies from the hospital, from the incident we just had, are now best friends. Lovely. Sounds like a good thing to me. I got that. Alright, um... So, I don't know if there's anything else you should be adding. You can go ahead and hit the submit button at the top, that way I can look at it, and then I'll give you any feedback that I have. And then we'll get uh, Assistant Chief Rascal to look over it as well. Yeah, I am going to have to get my fly now. So I will just, That's I'll just add this, give it a title, because I can't save it with that one. Yep, yeah, fair enough. And then... Um, Hit the submit report and then you'll be good to go. There we go, report submitted. Alrighty, and then you can uh, go ahead and do what you need to do. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time today, Officer Black. Of course. And it was lovely. I look forward to working with you again sometime. Hopefully. Maybe next time you'll uh, have your own vehicle. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Enjoy the rest of your shift. I'll try. It's rough out here. One six six three is gonna be ten eight. Clock off now. There we go, chat. Oh shit, my bad bro. I um I thought you were somebody else. Oh no no, it's okay. I'm just uh yeah. I'm just heading home now. Yeah, I didn't know. You ran a red light, so I was just gonna oh, stop. Sorry, sorry about that.
old fun chat. Sit chat. We'll end it there. Nice. We're back on tomorrow, but I'll be on in the morning. So. Been watching. Ciao.